is there an optimal uh, T to E2 ratio? I think that there probably is an optimal ratio, but I think the ratio is very broad. And I think it encompasses a very wide range of numbers. Um, and that ratio is going to self-regulate for men who are healthy. The issue that guys are having when it comes to, firstly, when it comes to libido, libido is a very uh, multifactorial, volatile, and often influenced by things outside of biology. It can be impacted by the relationship. It can be impacted by confidence. It can be impacted by work stresses, so many different things. So sometimes it's very normal for guys to not have much of, of libido, regardless of where their hormones are at because of their circumstances. Um, so that's something that guys just need to wrap their head around is that testosterone replacement therapy is not just going to be a bulletproof vest to give them a 16 year old's libido all the time. Um, so when it comes to what the optimal estrogen level is, it's something that should, if an individual is healthy, self-regulate. The factors that impact aromatase are things like T3, uh, insulin, uh, prolactin, cortisol. And if there are factors that are dysregulating those parameters, then estrogen will become dysregulated. The problem, though, is that estrogen is an anti-inflammatory hormone. It's a protective hormone. So in all of those circumstances, estrogen's the fire engine. It's not the fire. We don't want to get rid of the fire engine. We want to put the fire out. So it's not estrogen's fault, per se. Estrogen is like the smoke alarm going off. We need to work out what the problem is and address it. So, But with that said, I, I have not found that estrogen levels correlate with estrogen symptoms. Um, or in the context of TRT, at least. Now, if someone's estrogen is like astronomically through the roof, like, you know, 200 or 300 or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Different story. But for guy, for the, for the most part, for, you know, 99.9% .9 of guys on TRT, estrogen should settle where it's supposed to settle because we can't measure things like, you know, uh, receptor availability, um, you know, the ratio between um, alpha and beta receptors, all of that kind of stuff we can't measure. So there's not a optimal estrogen ratio, but if someone is troubleshooting their TRT, they need to look at all the blood work overall because a lot of the time there's, you know, D like if there's libido issues, there can be a DHEA deficiency, they can be hypothyroid, um, they can be chronically stressed, they can have other factors leading to, you know, deficiency. They, they could be on SSRI antidepressants. There are so many factors that these guys don't disclose when they're troubleshooting these things or their providers don't look at. So just trying to manipulate testosterone and estrogen to solve a man's problems. We have seen how this plays out. It's why this group exists. It doesn't work.